Consider the following function. Which of the following choices represents the same relationship as the given function? To solve this question, let's analyze all of the functions of our answer choice to see which one matches our original. Starting with answer choice D, it says y is equal to twice the value of x subtracted by three times the value of x. So let's write this out. y is equal to twice the value of x, or two times x, plus, or excuse me, subtracted by three times the value of x. So when we do the subtraction, we'll have two minus three is a uh, negative one x, or just negative x. And this equation does not match our original function, and that makes answer choice D incorrect. Moving on to answer choice B, with this graph we can look at our intercepts to easily tell if this matches our original equation. But first let's find the intercepts from our original equation. If we plug in 0 for y and solve for x, we will find our x-intercept. We'll need to do opposite operations, add 3 to both sides, we'll have 3 is equal to 2x, and then 2 is being multiplied to x, so the opposite operation here is to divide both sides by 2. These 2's will cancel, leaving us with 3 over 2 is equal to our x-intercept. The x-intercept in this graph is at negative 3, but this should be at positive 3 over 2 is about 1 half, or really exactly equal to 1 half. So we should have our point right about here instead of over here, so that makes answer choice B incorrect. Now we can look at our two tables, answer choice A and C. Since we already have the equation given to us, we just need to plug in values from each of these tables to see if they match. Starting with answer choice A, let's do 0 and negative 3. We'll have negative 3 is equal to 2 times 0 minus 3. 2 times 0 would just give us 0. 0 minus 3 would just give us negative 3. So, so far, it matches, but we need to test a few more points. One is not enough to tell if they completely match. So let's do, uh, pick another easy one, we'll do 3 and 0. We will have 0 is equal to 2 times 3 minus 3. 0 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 minus 3. And we'll have 0 is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3. 0 is not equal to 3. So A is incorrect, and by process of elimination, answer choice C is our correct answer, but I'll still show you why C is correct. Let's start by plugging in the first set of values. We'll have 5 is equal to, let me actually do this higher so I have room, 5 is equal to 2 times 4 minus 3. 2 times 4 will give us 8 minus 3, and 8 minus 3 is indeed 5. Let's try another one. We'll do 5 and 7. 7 is equal to 2 times 5 minus 3. 7 is equal to 2 times 5 is 10 minus 3, and 10 minus 3 does equal 7. If you were to continue plugging in the rest of the values, they would all uh, result in the same thing, making answer choice C our correct answer.